Hello and welcome to the Away Days Beer Company weekly vlog blog podcast, a better known as a pint or two halves. My name's Josh, the owner and creator of Away Days Beer Company, and this is all about talking about the beautiful game with some beautiful beer and chatting a bit of rubbish in between with, for today, Tim. Hi there. Shit, Tim. Thank you. Apologies. If that, uh, any sort of monetization or whatever that people, YouTubers go on about, that's just gone straight out the window and I'm glad. Uh, Tim, how are you? I'm, I'm good, thank you. It's nice to be here. Good stuff. It's good to have you, kind of. Um, <laughs> I should explain before anyone gets on the COVID bandwagon, uh, Tim is the admin guy for Away Days. That's right. Slash after four pints, the ideas guy. Yes. Very good ideas. I mean, I we've had some... You're yet to run with one of my ideas, but all of my ideas are magic. <laughs> that, <laughs> true. <laughs> I think the six-pack of cans attached to a helmet with straws was up there. Yeah. I think as this develops, maybe we could roll that out. Yes. If you want to see the uh, the Away Day six-pack helmet strawpedo hat helmet, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. But yes, um, it's a weekly <laughs> show. Uh, we meet up. We, we have a couple of beers, uh, we chat football, and we chat a bit of rubbish in between. And it's about more so uh, to get fans involved, uh, but as a switch off, because everyone's had enough this year. It's been a proper, proper rubbish year. Um, so yeah, we have, we have a bit of a layout, don't we? We're going to do the introduction. That's it. We're going to talk about the beer of the week from away days. Um, then we're going to go around the leagues, mm -hmm. discuss football, not the Prem. Oh, I mean, make the, we'll, we'll brush past the Prem yeah uh, but mostly lower leagues um, and then we will have off topic topic of the week and that is your chance to get involved um, so if there's anything you would like us to, to talk about whether that's time travel movies Asian cuisine <laughs> should have put my phone on silent apologies <laughs> let us know in the comments not in the comments on our Instagram social media pages at away days so we'll run that each week you can let us know what you think and we'll go with it but for now i think we we really need to get on to beer of the week beer of the week over to beer of the week yeah so yeah beer of the week wayne bruni um obviously i've poured um yeah yours what yeah, are your thoughts i'm halfway through mine josh uh and so far really drinkable really nice um <laughs> the thing which actually comes to mind i don't know the technical term for this but it's got quite a bit of fizz bit of fizz mm. bit of flair on the palate bit of a rabona in your mouth that sounds bad uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> it's a 5.3 percent english pale ale though wayne bruni um a few people have asked me about the sleeves there's there's emblems on the sleeves of all the away days beers pretty much um this one 120 above 53 um so 120 appearances for england 53 goals yeah decent stats to be fair um english parallel 5.3 percent so quite strong um but i'm a big fan of it i know it's a bit stronger it's 5.3 percent um and i try i used to be all about five plus percent but nowadays kind of want to enjoy beer yeah. but this is it doesn't taste like a 5.3 percent no. beer Nice on the palate, nice on the nose, on the head. No, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> but yeah, um, Wayne Bruni available at waydaysbeer.com. Uh, you can add it into a fancy fridge pack. You can order a whole case of it. If you fancy dabbling in it, you know where to go. Um, yes, we'll enjoy these. Uh, and we move on to Around the Leagues is next up. So uh, yes, yeah, Around the Leagues, let's get a roundup. Um, around the leagues this week, um, I had a quick look, um, kind of a couple of standout fixtures. Um, obviously, we'll come on to Ipswich and Luton. Um, one big game, and actually, we both used to work out towards Chesterfield, uh, was kind of, there is a name for it. Isn't it called like the Miners? Something to do with mining. The Derby between Chesterfield and Notts County. I'm not too sure. Either way, Spyrites versus, are they called the Magpies? Yes. Spy rights versus the Magpies. Chesterfield were winning 2-1 until like the 90th minute. Yeah, 90th minute, I believe it was. And then two very late goals yep. by Notts County. Uh, and then 3-2 in what would have been quite exciting for the fans. I was about to say, had the fans been there, it would have been chaos in a good way. 
Yes. And that is that is what the beautiful game is all about. These are two, well, two league teams playing non-league football. Um, I used to dabble in Chesterfield on fo- uh, FIFA a few seasons back, yeah. but they've really dropped down the leagues, haven't they? Yes. Yeah. Mm. And to be honest, you know, I think being a, f- a fan of football in itself, you know, if anyone's ever been to Notts County's ground, it's, it's impressive. It's not a non-league ground, and the same with Chesterfield as well. Yeah. Two big clubs playing non-league football, which obviously as a Luton fan I can relate to. A big club playing non-league football. Obviously big club can relate to that as well. Big yes. air club. Yeah. Probably the biggest club in terms of right here, right now. Yeah, you notice the smile yeah. on my face there, yeah. George. Okay. Yeah. Um, Tranmere, another standout result. Smash Grimsby 5-0. 5-0. Um, we love goals. Goals galore. Um, obviously that brings me on to Ipswich of the weekend. Uh, Norwood, Norwood was at Tranmere, uh, Norwood's at Ipswich now, there's the tedious link, is it tedious link? That's the term isn't it, the tedious Ten- link. Tenuous link? Tenuous link, tenuous link. decent, oh my god, tenuous link, there you go, you've uh, tedious link there, <laughs> <laughs> um, Norwood uh, was at Tranmere, now at Ipswich, is back from injury, we played Shrewsbury, we played Shrewsbury at the weekend, and one, two, one, and you're thinking, yeah, three points in the bag, football was, it's still not great at Ipswich. No. Um, I I was feeling pretty confident about this season, but now it's slowly, it's still a win. But we cannot beat teams kind of our same stature, same area of the table. Is what just are you third now? Third or fourth, I think. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's really up there. Hull, Pompey, um, Lincoln, Lincoln, Donny. Yeah, they're all up there. Uh, you. You, I mean, you had an Ipswich link at the weekend. You played Blackburn, didn't you? Obviously, Mowbray's manager at Blackburn. Yes. Um, did you draw? Uh, one all. One all. Yeah, nil nil at half time. Finish one all. Um, to be honest, it's one of those games where you would have looked at the fixture, um, especially. It's it's interesting because I still look at a lot of the Championship clubs like they're big clubs, and Luton do well to get a point from them. But the, the interesting thing is Luton are competing yeah. against these big clubs. Obviously, yeah, Luton this season, I watched them play Forest. Now, Forest had Hewton not long been in charge. That game, straight out the blocks, Luton were all over Forest. Scored a fairly early goal, first 20 minutes or so. Looked really decent. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot has to be said, because I've followed, obviously knowing you, unfortunately, I've followed Luton's <laughs> progression through the leagues. And the one thing that stands out is they've kept quite... A lot of those players that were there with Nathan Jones kind of way back are still mm-hmm. there now. Yeah, it goes... At, and a cut in the mustard. Yeah, possibly a little bit further. Uh, a few non-league te- uh, players um, still in the team come through. Um, Pelly Ruddock, it might be a name you're familiar yeah. with. Yeah, and Panzu. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Um, and to be honest, it's I'm, I think that's what's quite nice about football. It's these stories, you always get it about Vardy, how he's gone from non-league right through. Yeah. And then you've actually got a player with one club. Not that Luton, well we can dream of being in the Premier League, but it's actually achieved something similar with the one club. Well, so, I mean, I know he went off to Stoke. That worked out very financially really well for you. Nathan especially, Jones. Yeah, Nathan Jones. Yeah, yeah so I shouldn't have said that. Um, yeah, financially, he went to Stoke, paid you quite a bit of money to take him. One would assume so, yes. And then he came back. And then he came back. On a free. And kept a, us up. And kept you up. Yeah. And you've got a new stadium on the way. On its way. Would have been a nice bit of cash yeah. from Stoke. So, fair play to Stoke for paying for Luton's new stadium. They're probably... <laughs> <laughs> the Bet365 stadium at Luton. <laughs> um, but, yeah, really impressed. You're up there. The football you play, you're not going to go down this season. I think you're, like, 10th. You're milling I'll around be, Yeah, there. I believe so. Um, so, um, yeah, really impressed. I mean... For a long time, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ipswich are the dogs nads. Luton are rubbish. I'm really struggling not to swear here. Um, Tide has totally, totally turned. And that's it. Yeah. I'm coming out some right phrases we, tonight, uh, and I'm questioning whether I'm... The tides have turned. Yeah, the tides have turned. The and tides well, have turned. I mean, it's, it's, it's natural to feel a little bit emotional when a scene like Luton, where you were constantly laughing <laughs> yeah. at our, our humbleness, and now look at us playing... Yeah, Premier, ex Premier League sides. In for, March, I'm honestly, I'm honestly a little. I mean, I've been worried for Ipswich for a while, um, but at the minute, it's like if we don't get out of the league this season, is it going to be? Well, it would be another one, but is that going to knock on? And you're, you're going to turn into coming the... players? Are they just going to lose interest at that? That's point? it. Because and... yeah, there's a few there that are already doing well this season and probably drawing a bit of interest from up the league. But um, 
Premier League quickly. Um, bit of drama last night in the uh, Leeds Arsenal game. Yeah. Pepe, Pepe at Arsenal. I, just head back. Alioski maybe made a bit of a meal of it, but at this level of football, if you're going to tr- put your head towards someone, yeah, it seems seems Leeds are the the club which is they're involved in something almost every single game week. Do you remember the other week where it was the the hand which got the offside appeal? Yeah, with Bamford's um, hand pointing. Yeah, it's. I mean, that was far. It's just an, that will say far for another week. Yeah. Um, but certainly an exciting Premier League this season. Villa doing really well. Leeds kind of up there, play some good football. Have to mention Tottenham, I suppose. Tottenham really are starting to click. Yeah. Um, Liverpool, without with all their injuries, be interested to see how yeah. um, how they pan off. But uh, that failing. is, oh yeah. Well, I was just going to say the failing Manchester clubs. It's interesting both failing. of them failing the failing Giants. Failing Manchester just clubs. Just failing. Yeah. Strong words say it there from Tim about Manchester. <laughs> um, I wasn't part of that comment so uh, any Manchester folk that you're not happy yeah, this sorry, guy here the boldness of the Luton <laughs> giving it large um, that is around the league so now we will move on to the next section of the show which is off topic topic of the week uh, off topic topic of the week um, like I said at the start of the show going forwards um, I'll post out on social media um, Facebook Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, um, MSN Messenger, all the big ones, the major platforms at Away Days Beer. I will post out um, and ask for your suggestions each week for what you'd uh, you'd like us to chat about on Off Topic Topic of the Week. But for this week, um, we selected it, didn't we? It was you actually. Yes, I'll it give was you. Me. I'll give you credit. So, what is the Off Topic Topic of the Week this week, Tim? It's the C word. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, good. Keep it clean, you dirty, dirty bastard. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the topic this week is Christmas. Um, are you Christmassy? I am really Christmassy. You... I wanted to wear tinsel for this, but for some reason, someone wouldn't let me do that. <laughs> the, the episode one it does not need you wearing tinsel. <laughs> Even when it gets to Christmas, I don't want any tinsel. I'm a massive... I'm a Scrooge. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not a Christmas guy at all. Um, I, I like pigs and blankets, and I like Brussels sprouts and beer and glue vine. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like singing. Oh. I really don't like the happiness of it all. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds really bad. It's just like saying to someone who looks at the sky and says, you know what, I really hate the colour blue. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> You can hate the happiness in Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really bad. I just don't like the jolliness of it. Everyone's there, like, singing. We used to play this game um, at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> it was called... I don't even know where it came from. I was at my sister's, and they were like, oh, we're all going to play Ring on a String. I Dinky Dangle is what it's called. You know about this? Yeah. What? <laughs> We of course sat, I do. It's a Christmas game. <laughs> we all sat in a room in a circle, passing. Oh, dinky dangly, <laughs> dinky dangly. Yeah. That is everything <laughs> I hate about Christmas because there's no point to it. I sound a yeah. I just I'm not a massive Christmas fan. But this year, this year, I said, you know what? I don't like doing the Christmas tree because it means going to the garage to get the ladder out going up into the attic where you know anything could be i only go up there once a year oh. could be squatters there could be bats this is true could be some sort of new virus that's not come out yet um but i went up there last weekend i got it out and i said to my wife i said you know what the tree um yeah <laughs> good um christmas is coming early this year mm. i want to celebrate christmas this year and i'll quite happily play dungle dingle dangle my dingle <laughs> ring on a string rope on a s- rope whatever the hell it's called i'll play it i will play anything because i think everyone as this year's been rubbish yes yeah. um and there's definitely a high number of people out there celebrating christmas early doors i think there is i mean just driving around my neighborhood it's quite clear That's, that sounds wrong <laughs> Uh, can please continue that. Uh, well, it's just, <laughs> I was about to say, looking through their windows, <laughs> but <laughs> there are a lot of Christmas lights up already. Yeah. Not even at the end of November. Yeah. So I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is going. <laughs> you would expect it. Remain to composed. Um, uh. Yeah. Uh, so Christmas has come early. Um, if you have put your tree up, your wreath up, your lights up, if you're playing Dingle, my Dangle, my Dangle, my Dingle, um, let us know in the comments. Um, it certainly it's yeah off topic topic of the week i mean everyone's been talking about christmas um and uh yeah i think everyone just wants a little bit of cheer this year and i like i said i'm not a massive fan of christmas and i don't like the jolliness the happiness <laughs> but maybe this year will be the turning point yeah i think there's already about fifty thousand christmas films about someone who's hated christmas and and found joy in it at some point yeah but, uh, Maybe there is room for a football fan who hated Christmas. And yeah. Found joy through the beer. That's not a bad idea, actually. Season. Maybe I could have, like, Boncho Genchev play me. The legend. The Boncho, legend Boncho, if you're watching, I chat to his son every now and then. We should say Boncho. Boncho is the reason behind Away Days, because uh, I wanted to... Yeah. Well, he's a Luton boy as well. He, he played for Luton. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Boncho Genchev, a 90s Bulgarian Premier League player with Ipswich. I, I want to say he featured... 60 games yeah, something in there. that region I might be completely wrong and I, I want to say he played about the same amount for both us uh, for Ipswich and Luton 60 odd games um, that yeah that was I wanted to create I wanted to go to a bar and say barman a couple of pints of boncho please and here we are but uh, yeah I'd you know if uh, we do make a film if someone makes a film about a football fan that really hates Christmas yeah um, there's no one I'd like more to play me than uh, boncho Oh, you've got similar hair. Do we? It, Boncho had really fantastic hair. Yeah, the mullet is missing. I'm mate. not saying your hair is fantastic. I like to make that very clear. Is it fantastic? I don't Boncho's know. hair was... Oh, wonderful. yeah. Oh, yeah, his hair was. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. I wouldn't put it on the same... My lid is not... His lid was on another level. Mm. Lid again. Um Is that the beer we're going to try next week, Josh? Yeah, potentially. Yeah, you know what? We'll do Boncho next week. Shall we do Boncho? Yeah. Um... I think that probably rounds up off topic topic of the week. Um and really we should round up the show. I think it's time. Um so yeah, round up. Here yeah. we go. Thanks for having us, Josh. Yeah. yeah. I was actually gonna do a separate take here for the round up. We can continue then. Okay. Yeah, so to round up then, um next week we will review Boncho. Boncho. Um and you, uh, let's be honest, you'll be back on the show next week. Yes. I'm desperate, yeah. so you will be. Um, we'll be going around the leagues, all around the league. Okay. So hopefully um, there might be fans back in, potentially. One would Boris. hope whether they're going to be on top of it to actually, you know, make yeah. it happen. Boris, um, get in the comments, mate. Let's know. Yeah. DM me. Do something. Um, yeah, but yeah. Boncho next week review around the leagues uh, and of course keep an eye on the social media for um, your chance to take part by letting us know what off topic topic of the week you'd like us to talk about um, from myself Josh and myself shit Tim Tim uh, I hope you've proud, enjoyed oh sorry sorry proud Luton Town fan okay yeah the division well, above it I'll, well I edit this so I'll cut that out um I hope you've enjoyed the first episode <laughs> of A Pile of Two Halves. Um, thank you for watching. And yes, onwards and upwards. Uh, join us next week. See you later. Mm -hmm.